Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to create spirals in Comsol. So spirals are very interesting and even if it looks symmetric, it is not circularly symmetric. So let us see how we can create spirals in Comsol. So at first, let us create a 3D component. Inside of 3D component geometry, let us create a work plane. Now the work plane is added in our model builder. So just right click on the plane geometry and then click on parametric curve. Now we will create the parametric curve geometry. So the name is S, minimum is zero and let us set the maximum to be 10 times pi where pi is the constant which is default in console that is uh, the value of pi which is 3.14 and so on now in the expression here we have to write the expression for x and y so let us write as something like s multiplied by cos of s and as y we will multiply s with sine of s okay the position is 0 comma 0 and then we'll click on build selected and we'll click on zoom extends and we have our spiral ready now that we have created a curve we need to create one more curve so that we can create a solid out of it. So to save time, I will just duplicate the parametric curve. I'll just right click, click on duplicate. Now here, what I will do is I will just add one and put a bracket here. So instead of S, it is one plus S. So the amplitude has a increase of 1 in both x and y now if i click on build selected you see that i have a second curve which is close to the first curve now this is not the end we need to close the curve to create a solid so how will we close the curve one of the easy way is to use the sketch feature i will just select polygon and I'll just click here and click here and then right click, click on finish polygon. Similarly, I'll zoom in here. Again, I will select polygon, click here and then click here again and then right click to click on finish polygon. After this, I'll go back to the work plane and here I will go on to conversions and click on convert to solid now as an input object I will select a box and then click on build selected when you click on build selected you will see that the geometry is converted into a solid I'll click on build selected again and you can see that we have created our spiral now we can always uh, extrude our geometry so let's say I want to extrude it to 1 meter click on build selected or I'll just extend it to 8 meter and you see we have a nice spiral geometry it is very easy to make you just have very simple two curves that is uh, you can think of it as theta cos theta and theta sin theta and here one plus theta as the amplitude and then the cos and sine terms and then to end we have to close the curve by adding two lines and after that we added an extrude to extrude the geometry of course if you want to uh, smooth out the corners you can do that by using this two features 
If you found this video helpful then you can give a like and support my work and also you can subscribe to my channel for more informative uh, videos on research and engineering. Thank you for watching and take care.